I'm going to show you guys how to use the Plane Crash plugin and a slight overview of what that looks like. So the first thing you're going to want to go to Chaos Code IO. Uh, the link's going to be in the description for the plugin and the supporting plugin, which is the custom NPC plugin. You have to have an account for this plugin and you have to buy it. It's thirty dollars. And basically, the custom NPC plugin just allows NPCs to spawn at the plane crash site. So I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So I'm in my uh, Rust server right now, having some serious input lag. So the command for moderators and admins to call in the crash, if you want to do it manually, is call crash. You'll get a notification in the chat logs and then sooner than later a plane will come. Okay, so there's the plane. You can see it's got a trailing smoke behind it uh, where the engines are malfunctioning, it says. And it's gonna take its course at a random direction and crash. Um, I don't have an input lag, so this is great. Can't stop moving forward, but creates the fire and then uh, custom NPCs will spawn around the crash site or just the regular NPCs that are set up vanilla and you can set how many you want to spawn you can set which crates you want to spawn and you can enable custom loot tables on the crates so now we're going to take a look at configuring the plugin so you're going to want to go to your uh, hosting website if you use one and scroll down to plane crash click edit you're gonna see the configuration profile uh, you can set all the spawn planes to crash in the map even the vanilla ones which I have false fly speed and then all the other identifiers the smoke how many rockets it takes to hit it if you set it up to where not all of the plane crashes uh, definitely probably want to disable this one unless you want some people mad on your server um, this is the plugin that gives the percentage for chance to crash the plane because some of them, if you set this below 100, it'll keep flying sometimes and the players will have to shoot it down with rockets. Um, this is the loot settings. You can set how many crates and which crates you want to spawn and how many. And if you want to use your own loot tables, you need to make these false or the otherwise it'll spawn what it has in the code. Uh, the loot spawn and despawn, whether or not it falls in a safe zone. And then scroll down here, uh, you can do crate locking, uh, which is kind of cheap, I think. Uh, the server messages, the frequency spawns, lusty map plugin integration, in game map to show the debris marker custom NPC plugin so if you want them to spawn at the crash sites true you can set how many you want whether or not you want any dead corpses to loot and then if you want the custom NPC kits to work you need to set that to true then you can select which NPC you want to spawn there and this is for the NPC spawn time and whatnot and how wounded they are and so that's the base for the configuration profile for that plugin. So if you uh, want to see some more videos regarding plugins or Rust server management, go ahead and drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.